Hello, the ExamSoft quick tip for today is how to import questions into ExamSoft. So when would you use import rather than just manually entering uh, questions into the question bank? Well, you would do this if you have a lot of questions to add at once, and these questions may be coming from uh, another LMS system. So if you had a lot of questions in Canvas or maybe use Blackboard at another institution at some point, and you had those questions that you want to bring into ExamSoft so you can use them there. Uh, you might also have a large question bank just in word processor files on your computer that you've used previously. So to get these all into ExamSoft we're going to import the questions. Before you actually go into ExamSoft to do anything you'll want to do a couple steps first on uh, your questions. And so the first thing is to get the questions into a Word document, one or more Word documents. You are going to import one Word document at a time. So the more you can put, more questions you can put into a Word document, the better. Um, and then the second step is to remove all the Word formatting. So these are things like tabs or automatic indents. Uh, that will not import properly into ExamSoft. And there's on the next slide, I show you uh, a series of shortcuts you can use in Word um, that will remove the formatting. And it looks like a lot of steps, but once you've done it once or twice, it's actually it goes pretty fast. And then the final thing you do after you've um, removed all the formatting um, and put the questions into the format that ExamSoft expects is to save that Word document as an RTF file, and it's the RTF file that you're going to upload into ExamSoft. On the ExamSoft side, uh, before you do the import, you want to make sure that you've created a folder that will capture all those imported questions if that folder doesn't already exist. One thing to note is that only the text of questions can be imported, not images or any other attachments that you might have. You're going to have to go back after you've imported the text of the questions and attach those things manually. So this is the shortcut slide that I mentioned previously. It is 17 steps and that seems like a lot but like I said it goes pretty fast and I'm going to show you what it looks like in a second here. So you could just take a screenshot of this or have this open while you're doing it on your own document. Okay now I'm going to move over into ExamSoft, or, sorry into Word and show you what this looks like there. So I'm going to open up a Word document that has uh, a couple of questions in it that were sent to me that needed to be imported. So these questions are what the faculty provided. So they're pretty raw. This is just how they were written uh, at some point. You'll see that the stem of the question is here and these are the options. There's four options for this multiple choice question. In this case, the faculty has indicated the correct answer with a star, and that's actually good because that's what ExamSoft requires as well. So if you've just highlighted the correct answer or used some other way to, to show what's right, you're going to have to go back and put a star in there at some point. So we have two multiple cho choice questions and then a fill in the blank question. I'll show you how those look differently. So we're just going to go through the process now of putting this in the correct format. So the first thing we do is we do control A on the keyboard, that selects everything. Control C copies everything. Control N creates a new document. And we're going to paste the, what we've just copied into this new document. But we're going to make sure we paste it with keep text only. We don't want the formatting because remember that's what we're trying to remove. Okay, so we pasted that into this new document. Now we're going to control A again. Go up to paragraph, hit the little down arrow to open the paragraph menu, and we're going to do two things. We're going to make sure it's single spaced, and then we're going to click this little box that says don't add spaces between paragraphs of the same style. So that's going to take out a lot of the extra spaces and condense everything. Okay, so the next step uh, that I'm going to do is I'm going to control A again, and I'm going to just make sure this is all in Arial 9. That's what works best. For example, off. some people can use other fonts. I have found that Arial 9 always works, so I stick with it. Now we just have to make sure uh, the question is um, the, the format of the question itself is what ExamSoft requires. So the first thing is we want to give it a number, and then we want to give each of the options uh, a letter. And ExamSoft will let you 
put a period or a parentheses, it doesn't really matter. I usually just stick with periods, it's quicker to type. So each option has to have its own letter, keeping that asterisk at the very beginning for the correct response. There we go. And so I'll do the same thing for question two, make sure it has a distinct question number. Now, this question is a fill in the blank question, so we do have to give it a number, like we've done before, but there's one more step. The default type for importing is multiple choice, so if you have something other than a multiple choice question, you have to tell the system that it's something different. So to do that, you just simply type the word type, colon, and for this one, it's F for fill in the blank. If it was an essay, you'd put E there. Okay, so fill in the blank is a little bit different. Instead of putting blanks, what we do is we specify where the blank is by putting square bracket and then a letter. So we can have more than one blank and we would have different letters if that was the case. But since there's only one blank in this one, I'm just going to put it right there. And then we tell the system well, what are the acceptable answers. And we do that similar to what we did with the multiple choice. We just say A for blank A. And then we provide Oops, sorry, see what it did? It tried to put automatic formatting in there, so I'm gonna undo that. And now we just tell the system what our uh, accepted responses are. So it looks here like the depression is one accepted response. A second accepted response would be severe depression um, that has not responded well to other treatments. So that's quite a long answer, but to, to specify that these are different answers, we put this pipe character, it's the um, vertical line, in between. And you don't want any spaces in there because the system is going to be very, um, very specific about interpreting these answers and it's only going to accept exactly the characters you have. If you put a space in there, it's going to expect a space in the answer too. So this severe depression is really not a good answer because um, not many students are actually going to write these exact words. I'm going to leave it in for now just to show you how it works, but I would re recommend maybe changing this to something like severe depression or change it to question so severe depression is an acceptable answer. Um, when you come to this question in an exam, you're just going to have to look at all the answers and accept the ones that you think are reasonable, which you normally do anyway. Okay, so this is in the basic format that we need. Now, the last step is just to save this as an RTF file. So I'm going to save it to my desktop as an RTF file. And I'll just call it import for now. Okay, so I'm going to close that, close this, and this was the original one too that I'm going to close. Um, I've actually gone through and done the same thing for this formatted document, and I know it will work, so we're just going to use this one from now on. Okay, so let's move over to ExamSoft. Now, to import the question, we have to go to the Questions tab in the portal and find the folder that you want to import the question to. I'm going to import it to this demo folder. And then you simply go over to the cog and go down to Import Questions. Select that this interface will come up and it's asking us um, to drag and drop the, the file, the RTF file, into this space. You can also import uh, tab delimited import files. Most people don't do that. It's just easier to work with the, the RTF. So let's drag that in here. You see it's going to save to the demo folder. You can change the folder if you want. And then we're just going to hit next and the system is going to look at each of these questions, check the formatting, and give you any kind of errors at this point. We see that there are, there are no errors here, the three items are green, so those all came in okay, but you can actually review at this point um, all the, the questions, the responses, and the key, the keyed response as well. If there are any problems, one of these will be red and it'll tell you what the problem is. Okay, so we're ready to import. We're going to hit the Import Valid Questions button. You can import another file at this point or just go to the folder and see the questions. And there they all are.
So those are the three questions we imported. You can see what the fill in the blank looks like now. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.